Hello there, welcome back. It's Eva here and today I'm making sweet potato gnocchi. I grew up eating Polish dumplings called kopytka. They are made out of white potatoes just the way Italians made their gnocchi. The only difference is the shape and the toppings. My version today will be gluten-free sweet potato. We've made it only three ingredients. They are easy, delicious, if, if I might say, quite addictive. They are perfect cozy meal for those cold days. So let's dive in. So today I'm going to make two different style of gnocchi. The first one's gonna be the Italian style and the second one's gonna be Polish style that is cut into diamond shape. First, I'm going to prick two medium-sized potato a few times with the fork and bake them in the oven at 420 for about 45 to 60 minutes. Make sure they are about the same size so they don't so they bake evenly. You don't want to boil them. Water, watery potatoes require more flour resulting in dense and gnocchi, so baking is definitely best. Once they're baked, I let them cool down and then I cut them in half and you can scoop the potato or you can just peel them, whatever is easier for you. The next thing you want to do is mash them as smooth as possible with the potato masher. Then I'm going to add about a half a cup of flour and mix it well. That will help us to get started. And once this is done, we're going to put flour the surface with a little bit of flour. Then we're going to dump the mixture. And we're going to add some more flour. We want to add a little bit at a time, not so much. It's going to take about two and a half cups for the two medium sweet potato. You want to add a little bit at a time. Knead gently, but don't over -knead. And you can always add more flour if needed. Now that we formed the bowl, we're going to clean the surface a little bit. And then we're going to cut the dough into about six pieces, I think, we're going to get here. So we can work with one piece at a time. Now we're going to roll each piece into a little rope. It's a little tricky, so just be patient with it. It's, it's more on the softer side, so you can cut it in half when it's too long, and then, then I'm gonna cut in the, on the angle here. It's just so much nicer, the shape, instead of just doing it straight, but you can do it straight too. It's really whatever preference you have. Here we had the diamond shape. So here we're going to create the ridges for the Italian style, which takes time, but it looks nice. We're gonna roll it into a ball, and then we're going to place the gnocchi at the top of the fork and gently press down, rolling it across the fork with your thumb. When you are done all the gnocchis, we can let them rest for about 20 minutes before boiling, but that way they won't stick to each other. So here we have the Polish style, diamond style, and the Italian style. Here we're going to put some salt into a boiling water and we're gonna dump about 20, 25 pieces at a time. And we're gonna let them cook until they float to the top about two to three minutes. Then we're going to remove it with slotted spoon and going to also preheat the pan and put about one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna just make sure that it spreads evenly and now those gnocchis are ready to be picked up and put straight into the hot pan. And we're going to toast them until they are nice and golden and crispy. You can do that also with non-stick pan with no oil added if you prefer. While they are 
getting toasted I'm just going to do the Italian style and I'm also going to repeat the same thing and cook them for about two three minutes these ones I'm just going to uh, toast them with pesto sauce so I'm not going to uh, fry them up like the Polish style these ones look about ready to be done so they look beautiful and golden for the Italian I'm going to add about two tablespoons of pesto sauce that I made and we're going to toss them until they're well combined and they are nicely ready they look so delicious there we go that's perfectly done and for the polish style i usually put about you know a vegan sour cream but since i ran out i'm just using a little bit of pesto but they look gorgeous how delicious do they look and so easy to make let me know in the comments which style are you going to try the recipe you can find down below this video or on my website Thank you so much for watching and if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye for now and see you next time.